Have you ever find that hearing people around you act like a translator, almost becoming a kind of middleman or woman between you and the speaker? Well, for this video, I'm gonna share with you all the nuances that we experience when it comes to other people kind of butting in into our conversation. Hello, my name is Era Abraham, and I'm the founder and CEO of Listening, a mobile app for people with hearing loss who wanna receive notification to sound requiring their immediate attention. So one of my latest trips to visit a family, I find myself with another family at an airport very early. And with this pandemic, we weren't really sure what we're gonna be like with traveling. So we were much earlier for a flight. So having arrived early, we stopped to have a breakfast at this restaurant in the airport. And the waiter comes over with his face mask. And you know, you can start my, I knew my order was gonna start to get really complicated because I didn't want anything on the menu. And of course that means I didn't have enough context to guess what the waiter was saying as he was answering my question behind the mask. And of course my family member comes in and jumped into the conversation, almost repeating everything that the waiter said like a broken record. And I'm sure the waiter was starting to feel a little bit questioning what was going on with the sit because I was not really listening to him. I was listening to my family member who was able to articulate in a very loud, clear voice in the ways that I could understand. Now, in this experience, I really don't mind situations like this. Um, in fact, it's actually more preferable because it eases the space and I get the information without having to repeat all the time. But it's not the same thing for all situations and all people. And this is why I wanted to have this video today. But many of us with a hearing loss would experience this in one form or another. We are often feeling being like we're being treated differently in conversational situations when our spouse and family members or friends decide that they're being a good support by helping us navigate through this conversation with another person we may or may not know too well. So what does this really look like? We've all been in a situation where we could be at the doctor's office or maybe a spouse decides that they can speak for us and know everything about what we want to say. Or it could be a situation where they could be doing all the talking and ordering for you at a cashier. Or maybe it happened to be a friend who's speaking on behalf in a group conversation. So share in the comment below some of your own personal experience when somebody speaks on your behalf. Well, there's a lot of emotions that come up when we experience a situation like this. We feel a sense of a diminished competency. You know, we feel like we are being treated like a child and other, the other person is our parent or something. Or maybe we even feel like we are this alien that seem, can't seem to fit in our own um, or have our own independence. And in these situations, our confidence really starts to drop. People who like to take charge will often jump into conversation to kind of rescue us. And they do it with a good intention, but without the proper delivery. And some people may do it for a sense of control. They may want a predictable event to happen and bring in their own insecurity into the whole situation. We need to get better at creating our own boundaries and communicating those boundaries to others. They should know how we, these situations make us feel and together we can come up with a plan in the future. So comment below some of the experiences that you have in the past and how you handled it. So thank you very much for listening and until next time, 